happy birthday, Uncle Ray. So today, uh, some friends informed me that uh, today is actually uh, Ray Bradbury's birthday. And um, as he's a writer that I very much love and means a lot to me, I thought I would just make a short video kind of just talking about him and sort of what he means to me personally as a reader. So, of course, I was always aware of Ray Bradbury. Um, you know, everybody reads him in school. Um, but I never really, like, got into him until uh, my freshman year of high school. And at the time, I was very much in a, I was dealing with a lot of things emotionally. Uh, that was kind of the first signs of my uh, depression. And it came down really hard on me at that time in my life. I was very lonely. I had two, two, two or three... Um, really close friends, but one of them went to a different school, one of them turned out to be an asshole, and the other um, I just didn't see as much. And so uh, a lot of um, my time in school was kind of just on my own. Very, I was very lonely, very sad, and books were kind of my only escape at that time. And uh, I hadn't read anything for quite a while, I mean aside from Harry Potter and things like that that I was keeping up with, but at that time I was more gravitating towards film. And around a uh, sophomore year of high school, when I was 15, um, that was like the worst of it. That, that, that was when I was in the worst throes of, of depression. And that was also the year that I discovered uh, Ray Bradbury for properly for the first time. I picked up two two short stories from Barnes & Noble in my uh, interest in, uh, in reading more of this guy, and I picked up um, The Illustrated Man and The October Country, and I read both of them, and they were just completely life-changing to me. The poetic prose, the, the beauty of it, just the, the magic and the, the sheer imagination of the stories, the very, very dark fantasy vibe of it, it was just something that really spoke to me. And Bradbury's just love for storytelling just flowed over into me and just took me over, you know? Especially uh, The October Country, that, that remains one of my favorite books of all time. I reread it again recently uh, last year, or maybe it was two years ago now, I don't know, but I reread it recently, and it still holds up. There's so many great stories in there. One of my favorites of all time is Homecoming, which was his um, his depiction of sort of an Adams Family-esque uh, family of monsters and supernatural creatures with a son who, uh, an adopted son who is a human. He's, he's a normal human. And, and, and his sort of struggle throughout the story is um, dealing with the fact that he is normal and that he will die one day. And it's, it's a wonderful story and it's very melancholy. And um, there's a passage at the very end of the story that I always think about and that just really stuck in my mind for years and years and years. And um, I wanted to share that with you. Uh, as a way of um, commemorating Uncle Ray's 102nd birthday. Timothy, said Mother. He stopped at the stairwell. She came to him, laid a hand on his face. Son, she said, we love you. Remember that. We all love you. No matter how different you are, no matter if you leave us one day, she said. She kissed his cheek. And if and when you die, your bones will lie undisturbed. We'll see to that. You'll lie at ease forever, and I'll come see you every All Hallows Eve and tuck you in the more secure. The house was silent. Far away, the wind went over a hill with its last cargo of small, dark bats, echoing, chittering. He walked up the steps, one by one, crying to himself all the way. And there was just something for me about that. The, the, the beauty of the prose and the melancholy of it and that grasp and that love for, for the dark fantastic that just really stuck with me and uh, obviously has influenced writers throughout the generations, you know, Harlan Ellison, Roger Zelazny, Neil Gaiman, Kelly Link. I mean, if you look at a, a, fantasy, a fantasy writer who writes in that mode of kind of dark, surreal, imaginative fantasy, Bradbury was at the center of it, and uh, he's at the center of it for me too, and for my love of literature and of the fantastic. And so I just wanted to um, make this short video to just commemorate what would have been Uncle Ray's 102nd birthday. And wherever he is, assuming he is anywhere, I hope that he's around uh, the autumn people, surrounded by those who, uh, who love the dark and the autumn and the night the same way that uh, he did. So, um, yeah, thank you, Uncle Ray. Thank you for everything you gave to us. See you guys later. Bye.